Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to share with you how I use my planner to get ready for back to school. So this is the Mom on the Go planner, which I am really enjoying. And one thing I really like about this planner is that it includes a lot of extras. One of the extras that it includes is the back to school planner. So I can easily plan for back to school and get everything organized. A really neat thing is that in the leafy treetops where I purchased this planner from, they offer a free download for the back to school planning pages. So if you are interested in this section of the planner, you can download your free pages and I will leave the link down below. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump to the planning pages and share with you how I have used this planner to help organize for back to school. Okay, so here are the first couple of pages when you turn to the back to school planning pages. Over here on the left is a back to school schedule. I really like this because it's a great visual so you can really plan out your days um, in a way that works for you and your family. So how I'm using it, it's listed up at the top here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then you have this column down on the left hand side where you can add whatever you'd like. So I've added my three kids up here at the top and up here I will list their school extras so when they have gym, music, art, um, all of those things. Also their extra school activities such as Cub Scouts, dance, sports, etc. Um, just so that way we know what's going on throughout each day of the week. I also have a spot here that I'm going to work um, to list my work schedule so that way again I can kind of have that as a visual. And I also want to list out uh, the chores during the week so that way again I can see if Monday's a really busy day I'm not going to spend much time doing housework or assign a task that's very time consuming. So it will be easier to just sort of assign certain chores to days if I have everything listed out and mapped out in a way that I can really see it all at a quick glance. And I also have a column down here for miscellaneous. So if anything else comes up that I feel I need to list, I can list that down in this section. Moving over to this right hand page, I really like having this um, goals section over here on the left and then a to-do section over here on the right. So I sat down with my kids and we went over some goals for the school year and for at home and just went down and kind of listed out some goals that they want to work on throughout the year. And over here, I just wrote out some things that I need to do in order to get ready for back to school. So planning, cleaning out closets, cleaning out school binder, cleaning out our craft slash, slash homework bins, reorganizing the command center, creating a system for paperwork, shop for supplies, shop for clothes, and get back on a schedule. Um, and also getting bags ready. So just having those tasks listed out really makes it a lot easier for me to focus on what needs to be done in order to get ready for back to school. Turning the page here, um, we have a shopping list and there's plenty of columns that you can list whatever you need to. What I did was I used um, the columns for the three of my children and on the left hand side is for supplies and on the right hand side is for clothes. So uh, we have gotten most of their clothes ready for back to school. I just need to get some of the basics. And the school supplies, by the time you watch this, by the time this video is up, um, we will have gotten our school supplies. So those are all just listed out also. So that way when I go to the store, I know exactly what we're looking for and I can just focus on that. Over here on the right hand side, I did cover some of our personal information up, but it has, let's see, three columns for school information. So if your kids are in different schools, you can list out each school individually. All three of my kids are in the school, same school this year, um, so I'm just using one of the columns. But I do like having all this information right here, so that way if I don't have my cell phone on me and I forgot the school's number or need to get in touch with somebody but can't think of the number right off at, off the top of my head there's a place for all of that right here in the planner and then down here i really like because it has a place for extracurricular activities so you can put their coach's name 
or their leader's name over here, their phone number and which day they are doing those activities. So again, it's a good visual and it's nice to have all of those coaches and leaders names and numbers right in one spot. So that's how I'm using the back to school planning pages in my planner. I really love that this is included in the planner because I know that there's a spot dedicated for all of this information and it really makes planning and getting organized for back to school time a breeze, having it all organized in my planner and all my thoughts down on paper. So I hope that you found some helpful tips in this video. Definitely go on over to intheleafytreetops.com, which will be linked down below, to download your free back-to-school planning pages. I find them very helpful, and you can even put them in a page protector and use them year-to-year -year in a binder system or um, add them into your planner. Um, I just think it's a great, great organizational tool. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon.